Hi Scorpios, it is Adair Danielle with Chaos Tarot and I'm going to be doing your October 2018 general readings. Before we begin, I want to say thank you so much for your support. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to check out the description box below to know how to enter the free raffle. I just gotta say thank you guys so much. I wanted to do something nice for my first 10 subscribers, but I ended up expanding way quicker than I thought I would. And that is all because of you guys, all right? So without any further further ado, okay, we are going to get into your October reading. Okay, Scorpio? All right. Ooh, sorry. October 2018, okay. Venus. Okay. More time. Venus. Okay. okay. All right. And just as a friendly reminder, I pull from the bottom of the deck for the underlying energy, top of the deck for the present. Um, for the heart of the matter, I'm sorry, and then we move into the foundation, past energy, present energy, um, most likely outcome and a card of advice. I also got two new oracle decks that I'm going to be sharing with you um, once, you know, that, that comes up, all right? So let's see what's happening, Scorpio. All right, the five of pentacles is the underlying energy. So you might be in the dark or you might, you might have let other people out in the cold or you might feel like you yourself are out in the cold, okay? The Ace of Pentacles as the heart of the reading, which is a new beginning financially, a new stable beginning. And then we have Temperance as the past foundation. That is balance, okay? The Knight of Wands in our present energy. The King of Swords, okay, all right? The King of Swords in our most likely outcome. And then the Two of Swords as our advice. All right, Scorpio, basically right off the rip, what I'm getting is you are going to be cutting other people out this month, this come Libra season and pre, 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 pre happy birthday, right? So, because it's going to be the tail in the, the very beginning of um, Scorpio season. All right. Okay. Um, again, with this five of pentacles here, this is being left out in the cold, in the dark. This is you leaving people and the reason why i think that you left this these people out in the dark is because of the king of swords here which is known to cut people off and cut through the bullshit okay so if you have the ace of, of pinnacles here it seems like it's out with the old in with the new and it's going to be in a very quick type manner all right but i want to i want to go in order i'm sorry for jumping ahead um some of you also could be connecting with the sagittarius with the Sag sagittarius card here and the knight of wands with this Ace of Pentacles, this is a new beginning, a new stable beginning. But the thing about Aces, Aces are not guarantees, okay, Scorpio? And it seems like there's a choice that's going to be made here with this Two of Swords. There's a choice that's going to be made in if you're going to take this divine opportunity or not. And it is completely and totally up to you. There is no wrong answer, okay? With Tempers being the foundation card, there seems to be balance that wants to be restored. Excuse me, you could be moving into a place of balance, right? Or you could be in a place of imbalance, okay, with temperance. Moving from one higher elevation to another, but this is also more so a card of freedom. And I'm going to go with the freedom storyline because we have the Knight of Wands here. And although this normally goes in pairs with... Um, fire signs such as Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, I like to put Scorpios in with the Knight of Wands also. I put Scorpios with the Wands. Um, sweet, just because of the passion that exudes from Scorpio, that's a very passionate trait to me. But this is also a card of adventure and moving forward and not stopping for no one, okay? With this Knight of Wands. Um, and embodying this King of Swords 
outcome is the most likely attitude. So this is knowing. Also could be dealing with an with an Aquarius, um, Libra, or a Gemini. But this is quick intellectual wit. This is knowing and not listening to the bullshit and cutting straight through it. That's why I feel like a lot of people are going to be feel left like they're left in the cold because it seems like you are going to have to make a decision to stay in something or to leave. You have the freedom to do so with this temperance here. You have the freedom to find balance within yourself, but it seems like you're going to have to leave some people in line, leave some people behind, move forward and travel kind of quickly, kind of in what I'm sensing, kind of like the, the heat of the night. But I'm going to go ahead and clarify um, some of these cards here, okay? Let's see, let's see. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. And like I said, this is cutting through the bullshit with this Ace of Pentacles. You might, some of you, if this is a relationship reading, if this is resonating with a partnership, this is somebody that could be a life partner, um, could be a soulmate with the King and the Queen here. And you guys are really focused, oh my gosh, and you guys are really focused on honesty and communication or just cutting through the truth. Maybe you're coming, um, maybe what it is, is you are coming out of the cold with somebody and you guys are having very brunt, brutal, and honest conversation with each other. It's kind of what I'm seeing. Um... To restore this type of balance, I think the way that Libra season is kind of affecting you, it is bringing a partnership. And if you been left out in the cold with somebody with this five of pentacles which is instability there is a new stable beginning that is coming in and it could be with a person from the past it could be with a person that is coming back right because of this page of cups here and i consider pages like aces again it's not a guarantee it's just something i feel like somebody is coming and offering love in a very immature way even though two people are being honest and communicating in a very logical way perhaps they are abandoning their emotions and how they feel scorpio so if you're connecting with somebody from the past it's time to kind of let those guards down and really speak about those emotions because if not then you're handling it in kind of an immature way but this is this is possibly a new beginning coming out of the cold with somebody and with this seven of cups here disillusionment and options and so that's why it is imperative that the queen and the king of swords here because this is the best energy to deal with all this shenanigans to deal with all this confusion that's here and really cut through it and really decide between heart and mind marrying heart and mind to decide what's bullshit and what's not there's snakes in the grass but there's also castles and reefs and victory so it's really deciding what it is that you were supposed to do it just seems like this is a very 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 um kind of intellectual emotional journey that you're going on it seems like you're dealing with a lot of logic to sort through your emotions scorpio and it might come off to Im as immature as other people because they don't understand but the thing is is even though your emotions are immature and new and fresh, and I don't want to say necessarily immature, even though they're new and fresh and kind of novice, they mature into the king and the queen. So you're trying to have very adult conversations about something that's new. But again, I'm seeing a fresh start, a new stable start, if that is what you want. Now with this knight of wands here, knight of wands can be quite the playa playa, right? And can come in very quickly and leave just as fast. And so you'll know if this is something that's going to last and be this stable energy. Okay? So although sometimes this can be one night stand, because I'm seeing this, this pinnacle here, I'm thinking that this is a relationship that is very passionate and, and is volatile, but there is mutual affection there. It's just not necessarily easy to handle for the two of you and so you guys are kind of wrestling with that that is a storyline that i'm definitely getting it's really it's really battling freedom but again the choices are yours it seems like this is a little bit um scattered scorpio but i think the energy is kind of scattered i think that that is why there's so many swords here i'm just trying to to understand what exactly is happening because you're dealing with a lot of passion and emotion in a very logical way. 
Um, this is my new deck, I'm sorry, is the Barbary Zodiac Oracle, and I'm going to be pulling some cards from here, and we're going to look at some of the energies planet-wise and sign-wise and element-wise to hopefully clarify some of this, okay, Scorpio? And, oops. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes I, like, get it with these cards and then I get it. Okay. All right. Uranus. Some of you are really dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And this is Uranus. Again, this is freedom. This is a card of, um, of, of freedom, big ideas, and change. But progress. So a lot of you are, are really in that very like progressive emotional state, but just trying to figure out how you're going to deal with these emotions that are coming up. But you're doing it in a very logical manner, which is super interesting to me, Scorpio, because you guys are so passionate. And I see the Knight of Wands here, but you are really not trying to deal with your emotions in the way that you normally do. It seems like you're trying to change the way that you do and really think things out instead of rushing into something. And perhaps maybe that's why this is more stable than you're typically used to. I don't know. And then again, we have Mars here. So I, I just, I really feel like you guys are are plotting your passion, if that makes sense. Hopefully that resonates. But I really feel like you guys are trying to figure out how do I go about getting what I want when it comes to deal with my desires in a logical way. I feel like some of you are making like charts, okay? <laughs> I feel like some of you guys are making lists and plans on like how do I get this girl how do I get this job how do I get this house how do I get this car I need it I want it desperately but I want to get it in kind of some unconventional way but a lot of you also don't want to be tied down and you're really wrestling if you're going to keep your freedom or not okay sorry I want to say that and it's always a lie. Alright. Aquarius. Oh my goodness, Scorpios. Aquarius. We are dealing with some really like intellectual energy. If you guys are dealing with an Aquarius or you're tapping into the Aquarius into your chart, you guys are perhaps even detaching from a situation. Um... I'm going to pull out the book because this is really crazy to see so much. Like, I'm just going to pull all of this up for exactly how much Aquarius is here. Like, this is a very, <laughs> like, this is almost all Aquarius. So some of you are definitely connecting with Aquarius. But some of you are trying to detach, which seems so opposite of, of, of you guys this Libra season. Um, it's it's kind of crazy. And then air, air again. So we're dealing with a very, very logical side of you, Scorpio. This seems like a very, like, I feel like you, again, are plotting, are plotting on your desires. Like you're plotting to get what you want. You really are trying to figure out where it is, that, what it is that you want out of, um, out of yourself, I'm sensing. So I'm going to cheat because... This is kind of funny, but I don't want to butcher, I don't want to butcher your lessons. Oh, sun, moon, all right. Uranus, okay. Uranus is a social with the primal Greek sky god of the same name. Uranus brings up some powerful human needs, such as the desire for freedom and individuality, as well as push towards a large vision and humanitarian service. Big thoughts, big insights, and big changes are represented by Uranus. Uranus also rules Aquarius. That's what I, I'm saying. So we're going to look at Aquarius now. Okay? Aquarius. Key phrase, I know. All right? The commutative energy of air finds determination in the fixed stick to equality you may not have the answers but you have the network available to you use it and answer everything is at your fingertips the key phrase i know is a little misleading 
You don't necessarily know the answers, but rather you know how to find them. In this situation, ask who is the who has the information I need? Also, Google is your friend. Having big visions, okay, there we go, and loving ideas makes for great conversations, but can leave a relationship empty of human emotion and other feelings neglected. Avoid being distant and detached and cold. So this is really a, again, just individuality, freedom, again, with temperance, really balancing your freedom and your emotions. So if you do not want to um, get into a relationship and you're just having like really cold kind of detached conversations, then that is, could be affecting the other person. But again, because of the Knight of Wands being here, I'm sensing a lot of passion, Scorpio. That's why I'm like just so like kind of confused. All right. And then we're going to read about air. And you guys are the only people that I've read about, but this is so out of your element. That's why I don't want to misinterpret um, the signs because we had the king of wands and the present and the most likely outcome and then we had the queen of wands come and clarify the present so i just really want to get into these air energies that you're experiencing for this month okay and i'll possibly do another reading for y'all later because i just want to see how it all pans out you genuinely have to keep me posted all right okay anyways back to the reading all right 25 air chris ether ethereal <laughs> ethereal oh my gosh and decisive the energy of air fuels the winds of truth and whispers grand insights clarity and truths are supposed are supported by rationality reason common sense and logic air energy breaks stalemates and stagnation through wise decision making and mutual understanding bring the quality of air to a situation by seeing things as clear and clearly and objectively as possible focus on the facts and not the stories we like to attach to the facts Truth, calm, communication, comprehending the points of views of others, and promoting understanding of all sides. So there is really a truth seeking here, um, Scorpio, which I'm not surprised because Scorpios are the truth seekers. Ooh, excuse me. But there's truth that is trying to be sought out here is really 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 what i'm seeing and you're really going about it maybe truth with a new job truth with a new relationship because there's a new um opportunity on the horizon with this ace of pentacles it's really finding out if this is something that you want to do and making that and making that decision if you're going to embark on that and if you felt like you were left out in the cold i feel like you're trying to find out why perhaps you found out something about a partner that you don't like and now you're trying to communicate that but remember to just stay objective. Maybe that's why you're det detaching and you're trying to hold in this Knight of Wands energy to yourself because you're really trying to understand the situation and see what it is for and see um, really deeply into it and try not to interject yourself into it, but really look at where this other person is coming from and what it means. That's really what I'm seeing, um, Scorpio. Um... A lot of Aquarian energy. Um, so perhaps watch the Aquarius, cross cross watch the Aquarius. That's what I can recommend too, to see if you, that message resonates with you since there's so much air in this reading. Um, but in that case, oh, wait, 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 wait. One more cards. <laughs> the Angels of Atlantis. And maybe this will sum it up. Okay. And this is one last Oracle deck. I almost forgot. And this is like a good maybe one to three words. So it kind of sums up to me. It kind of gives the reading closing because this reading was kind of, I don't know. It was just very interesting to see Aquarian energy pop up. Some of you, again, a humanitarian doing charity work. But just finding truth is, is a big, is a big factor for October, okay? And one more shuffle. Alright, oops. I got two. Um, intuition. Other ones that were intuition. So really finding what you do know, what you don't know, and going with your gut. But follow follow yourself, even though you're trying to find things in a logical manner. Because you're a Scorpio, because you're a water sign, even though there was no water in this reading besides the seven of cups and the page of um the page of cuts was was used to clarify. So don't forget to use your intuition. When you get the truth and you get the answers that you're looking for, um, you'll know if it resonates with you. Okay, Scorpios. All right. 
Scorpios, I wish you the best this month. Um, and again, happy birthday to my October Scorpios. If I don't see you again, but I promise I will, okay? And um, I hope that you so find the truth that you're looking for. And I welcome this new Ace of Pentacles stable energy into your lives, all right? Have that clear, honest, clean-cut conversation that you want to have. Try to keep your emotions and rein them in, Um in order to handle things objectively, possibly be detached to something if this is something that is very close to your heart so you are not unreasonable and you do not tap super into go into that um, kind of stinger-like mentality and really just try to be objective as you try to seek the truth that you, that you want, okay? All right, bye Scorpios. I wish you the best.